Um, the regarding digital dentistry, regarding analog impression technique, which one is the better? Um, this video will going to explain you a little bit more detailed depth into it compared to I work with more than, I would say 10 years, digital dentistry. By the way, my name is Luke Kang. People ask, keep on asking all the time, look, which oral scanner company do you recommend it? Appreciate it, you get so many comments. Finally, I do have a conclusion for the oral scanners. I would say 20 oral scanners out there. But for sure, it's one of the leaders, it's a three-shaped oral scanner, so fancy, um, so accurate, looks awesome. And then there's an Itero, the Serac, so many, you know, scanner down there. So I fortunate it, which is a lot of case from the doctors, the nationwide, they're using the oral scanner. And then they send to the file, which is electronic send called STL files. And then we receive the cases. And then we printed the model. The regarding which scanner is better? Well, let me explain a little bit more about the, what's the analog impression technique we normally do. Still 70% we still have the impression. Well, here's the things. So if I'm a doctor, I'm not a doctor by the way, I'm a lab technician. If I'm a doctor, and with the assistant, we have a tray. So they have a tray out there, several tray. But I prefer custom tray, meaning sometimes they have a custom tray because their mouth is different. Just like close, large, medium, small, extra small. So we have to make custom tray for that specific patient. Why? We have to fit into patient's mouth perfectly. Some patient has the problem this, problem that, problem that they gaggle, a lot of saliva. Think about it, bleeding too. You cannot get a good impression. Anyway, that's the story. And the um, procedure, just like I said, the dentist side, and then they have to carefully tray, and then we mix together, and then open the patient's mouth, and then we just get rid of all saliva, and then they put it in the impression, then take the, out the impression. So this impression, we're going to send to the laboratory, Anyway, focus is trying to duplicate it exactly patient's mouth teeth as much as possible. That's number one. Here is another key too. After we see the impressions, I would say 5% uh, still hit and miss. Depends on what doctor did it. I see some of a bubble, little bubble, or some of the separations. Then we receive it. And then we make the stone model. Another really important method from laboratory. Laboratory technicians have to using proper, good stone model, which is I've been using GC America Fuji Rock, which is top of the line. And then we have to mix sure with water liquid ratios. Compared to how many gram, com compared to liquid ratio, put together, put it in the electronic, just like spindle, one minute. So get, get rid of the bubble. Before we put up the impression, we put some surfactants, which is smooth flooring. Those things are very important. If technician, they did a bad job, which is nobody know, then everything we screw. Because the model is a foundation. Right. Now, investor who has the money, so they invest in digital dentistry, call CAT CAM, etc. So they invest the money, they develop about oral scanner. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful technology. Now, whoever asks me from dentist side, look, do I have to buy oral scanner? Personally, I love it. I love digital dentistry. Even though I'm getting old, it doesn't matter. I learn every day, learn every day. So my personal opinion, digital will be more better and even more faster in the future. Digital Technology, we're going to go over 100% soon. So that one is eventually we're going to lead our industry, not only dental laboratory, not only dental in the world. So we utilize all our digital technology. Here's my big problem. Education. For example, the doctor, they just bought it. They train one week and then they use it, send to the LSK. So we made a great printer model and then we fit it, fabricate it, and send to the doctor's office. Guess what? 
did not fit. Now, whose fault? Your fault or my fault? It doesn't matter. Patient will go into frustrated. Patient think you've been using cheap lab or stupid laboratory, or they judge your technique. Who's going to take the blame? So, doctors, some, some of the doctors do not trust me. So they send other lab. Guess what? Same thing. More worst. I don't want to arguing. I'm trying to express you is my frustrations. If you're not used to with the computer and then you're trying to use it, this is a problem. I will get 20% remake. I don't like it. Nobody like it. So my recommendation to them, call the company because they charge you monthly or yearly. So they have to get supporting. Me too, I have to pay them. But you need a really good training to make the great stuff. I would say how long? I will at least six months. At least six months. So my first question to you, do you like the computer? If you say, no, I don't like it. I'm, not, I'm an old guy. I don't want to do it, something like that. I'm getting old too. I'm an old technician. I'm an old analog technician. But my recommendations, you have to overcome, but you will see more different horizon. Because this computer technology, you have to use to the computer. Just like my kid. They will use more and better and better, just like game. And they improve the way better. One of, one of the doctors, his name is Omar Cruz in Puerto Rico. He's another great prosthetist. He's a young guy, he's great. Why do I like him? He's, he's great crazy. For example, he took the physical impression, the multiple units, and he's scanning and send it to the file. So we print it, we have a model, so we individually match. Absolutely perfect matching, okay? I'm bad, he is a great computer skill guy. He's very smart or I don't know, I really don't care. But he does a really nice job from analog, same patient, 3D print model, we put together, everything fit perfectly. Not only that, interproximal contact, not only that, occlusion contact, absolutely great. So all these companies to me is really great. Which oral scanner is suitable for you? So, my recommendation is, depends on what you need. For example, you need a complicated implant, four implant, four mouse. You need the great stuff, right? Price, 30,000, 25,000, 20,000, 17,000, 15,000, 13,000. What about my lease fee? $500, $600, fine. So, they have to figure it out, the budget. But not only that, you need a great training, otherwise you'll get a problem. The only things I notice is I tell her I don't have any issue. I don't know why. I don't know. For example, whoever bought the iTero from iTero company, so I expect it, right? Something is not right, but I don't see much problem. When we receive the cases from UPS, is all over the country, and then I have to wait two days. But the electronic file, you can get the same day. UPS don't like it, but they save the UPS money, which is $14, $20. That's a good part. And also, we can save the two working time. Therefore, I can give them faster turnaround time. Um, the fundamental technique, either analog impression or auto scanner, right? Extremely imperative. So we have to make perfectly match the margin design perfectly. Then people did not get any decay. So this restoration will be 15, 20, 25, 30 years last long. If we open margin here and there, they decay the root, and then they have to take out the tooth eventually, which is worst scenario. So that model is imperative, very important, all right, to make the final restorations, either analog and the digital technology. Some people, they, they don't care, just fit it in the crown, just send it out to the lab. That's it. And I'm not those kind of guy. We don't send China, we don't send India, we don't send any other out of country. We work with United States, with all my crew here every day. Anyway, thanks for watching. So we, I hope you like it. And any question, please feel free to write it down. We'll get back to you. Appreciate it. Thank you.